This is the first step in teaching a whistle recall. So we're going to condition the, the whistle and that basically means that the whistle has some meaning to it. He understands that when he hears the whistle, it means to come back towards me. So I'm going to be throwing a treat out. He's going to go and eat it. Whenever he finishes that, he's likely going to turn back towards me because we're in the garden, it's a low distraction area and he's likely to come back to me anyway. You're always going to start this in a lower distraction area. So I am going to throw a piece out and as he starts to turn back, I'm going to do a peep on the whistle. Good. Sometimes whenever he comes back to me, I'm going to give him a little jackpot of treats because he gets one treat for going out there and it's all right. But when he comes back, he gets the mother load and it's worth coming back to me then. So I'm just going to carry on with this. Oh, hi. So what I'm not doing is whistling whenever he's still around there searching for the treat. If I'm whistling while he's still searching and he doesn't respond then to the whistle coming back to me and he just spends the time snuffling for the treat, the whistle is losing its meaning. So I'm going to wait until I'm pretty sure that he's coming back to me anyway. So reasons you might choose a whistle recall. One is that it has no emotion attached to it. If you get a bit annoyed that they haven't come back when they should have and you start adding a bit of anger tone into your voice, they're less likely to come back because you're not sounding very inviting. The whistle just takes all the emotion out of it, nice and neutral, more likely to get them back then. It's also a good high pitch noise that can cut through all the traffic in their brain. If they're having a bit of a moment looking at something else, you're more likely to get through to them with this higher pitch than you are just with your voice. So I'm going to spend quite a bit of time with this. It's basically the whiplash turn that we're working on here. Um, see the other video for this if you haven't already, where instead of calling him back with his name, I'm now doing a whistle for him to come back. I'm going to do this quite a lot so it becomes really ingrained in him that he hears that whistle when he's coming back to me. And then he knows then if he comes back to me when he hears that whistle, he gets something nice and he loves his food. So it's worth coming back for. We're going to keep it in this low distraction environment to begin with. And then when he gets more reliable with it, we'll take it out and out with a long line.